Hi everyone, Justine Frolker here, author, speaker, and certified Dare to Lead facilitator. And uh, last week we talked about how vulnerable it is to ask for help. So one of the other super vulnerable things that we need to do, and we'll get a little bit more seasoned when we practice it, practice it, is to apologize. Like, and I'm talking a real apology. None of this like, I'm so sorry you feel that way. It's not an apology. So an apology, I posted this like a week or so ago, according to Randy Pouch. Um, he, uh, his book is The Last Lecture. He just was a phenomenal man. And he talks about how an apology has three parts and that what I did was wrong. Um, this is what I'm going to do to make it better. And this is what I'll do to make sure it doesn't happen again. And so an apology is vulnerable because again, we're admitting that we screwed up, that we made a mistake. We also don't know what we're going to get from that. So there's risk and uncertainty and then the emotional exposure is the definition of vulnerability, right? So when we apologize to someone, number one, that does not mean that we're going to be forgiven. It just doesn't. So you don't know what you're going to get, which makes it even scarier. And when we hold it back from the people who, that we lead and the people who we love, there's not connection, which means growth is inhibited. And so what would it be like to create a culture where you're allowed to screw things up and make mistakes because that's the only way innovation and creativity take place. It's also the only way that trust and vulnerability grow because healing and growth take place in connection. And so if I feel safe enough to make a mistake and then when I do, I am brave enough and practice the skill set of courage to be vulnerable to say, you know what, I, I, I screwed that up. Can I circle back with you? I'm not sure that came out of my mouth how I meant it. I'm sorry, I did not mean to hurt you. This is what I will do to make sure it never happens again. Because then forgiveness comes, which is a whole other video. So vulnerability is required of apologizing. And I'm also going to say it takes vulnerability to forgive someone and to move forward. So today, who do you need to circle back with? Who do you need to own your part? Make sure you learn the lessons that you need to learn and choose a little bit better next time. I'll see you next week. Thanks for being here.